This is typically what you can expect from an iron chromium aluminium material when you try to bend it at room temperature. Hi, we're here today at the Element Workshop. Uh, we're going to show you some really cool stuff. We're going to show you how to form some strip heating elements. I've got my Swedish colleague and materials expert from Cantal, Torbjörn. Tell us what we're going to be doing today. We will form a beautiful Cantal AF strip element, but we also have a small surprise for you. I've seen it already. Yeah, you see it already. Yeah. Is it going to surprise me or you? It will surprise you, I think. Okay, let's go and see let's how it's done. Let's go and look. Okay, we're going to look how to form the strip element. Before we form the cantle strip element, we've got to heat it up. Torbjörn, how are we heating the strip element up? Uh, this is one way of uh, electrical heating the strip, and uh, it is a very quick way. You can see here, we have now switch on the current. You can see that the electricity, the temperature rise quite quickly. You can see here, now we are at 150. What temperature are we looking at? We, we, we will go up to roughly 200 Celsius. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're taking the strip. The strip's been heated. We've got it at about 200 degrees C. Emil's going to take it over to the machine, and obviously we're going to form it into a strip element. So, we've, we've, got the, uh, we've got the strip now up at temperature. We're going to form the elements, aren't we? Yeah. Are we going to get any surprises? No, at this time we will have a nice and easy shaping without any breakage. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay, let's, let's, let's form the element this time. As we know, it's, you've got to have the safety gloves on because we're at temperature. Emil, come on, let's form the element. How, how is it going to react differently this time, the material, to when it was uh, colder? The material gets more ductile when you heat it and also there is no risk of brittleness and breakage. Because if you're looking to form strip elements, we've usually got two materials. We've got a cantal material, this one we've got cantal AF, and we've got nicrothal, which is a, a nickel chrome element. Both of them, if it's cold, if you're storing it in a warehouse, bring it in, let it get up to room temperature before we straighten it. I had a little bit of heat before we straighten it, and always remember, if you're gonna form a cantal element, we need to add heat, around about 200 degrees. For the bending you need, uh, we normally we recommend to heat it to 200. 200 degrees and then we'll get a really good form strip element. We've formed it, we've got, we think we've got no cracks, but you're going to show us if there is a crack in there. Yes, let's go. Okay, so we've formed the element now. We're hoping that this is a good element. We're now going to heat it up again. Emil, can you hit the current, please? Yes. There we go. We know we're going to get current through this, so we know we're going to get it hot. Uh, it's getting it's starting the, getting red. It is. It's getting there pretty quick. It's it getting looks there pretty very quick. uniform also. There is no white spots. I'm just looking now. I can't seem to see any white spots. Oh, this is a nice, good element. Torbium, we formed a really good element here. We've put the current through, we've got it hot. It's got no cracks in it. We're now going to show everybody where there is an element where there's cracks in it, and you're going to make that crack. We will make an element where there is a failure on it, so we can show how a white spot looks like. And why is it going to glow white in that area? Because there is uh, the same amount of current, but the surface area at that spot is lower. Okay, we've switched off the lights now, so we're going to be able to see our crack more easily with our camera. By the eye you can see it, but obviously the camera is not going to pick it up as clear as the, the eye will. I think we've seen it already. Yeah, you see it us. already. On yeah. The there we go. You now can see that's it. Get, get redder. And with the cantal alloy, obviously, um, it has an oxide, an aluminium oxide, that it's forming continually. Um, when it gets to, towards the end of its life, does it just run out of this aluminium oxide? Yeah, the aluminium gets uh, empty, so it would not create any more aluminium oxide, and it will create chromium oxide and iron oxide, and then it will fail very quickly. 
Okay, so obviously then it's becoming sort of the end of its life. Yeah. That's great. A recommendation, that if you're seeing any white spots in the area of the elements in the furnace, it's looking like it's time to replace the elements. We formed our strip today. Torbjorn, most important thing that we can take away today? The most important thing is that we must preheat the Cantal alloy strip before forming it. Then you got this very nice form of the bends and then you get this impressive element to use in your furnace. It is pretty good, it is pretty good. You know the best bit of today? You mm. switched the lights off. <laughs> I looked at the element get hot and I saw it where it failed. I didn't think, I didn't believe you at first and then I got it and I thought it was fantastic. Good to meet you today, Torbjorn. Emil, thanks for all your help today. Catch us next time for our next video. Emil, brilliant to meet you, thank you. Guys, join us for our next video. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's your fault, it's your fault. <laughs>